What is up people, welcome back to Throttling Frames, this is your host Mayur and in this video we are talking about Hyperscape. We'll be seeing the gameplay, the menu and uh, in a separate video maybe, uh, we will also see the weapons those are available in this game. So Hyperscape is the newest uh, very fresh game from Ubisoft which is going to be a uh, F2P. It is currently uh, being beta tested and this is the open beta version of the game. So you will be able to see uh, the gameplay uh, in this video. And um, without wasting much time, let's just quickly get into the game. Alright, so there we are in the Hyperscape Hub. Hyperscape Hub is more like an interactive menu of this game. This game is set up in extremely futuristic theme. So you also have a futuristic menu, right? So this is more like an interactive menu. You need to uh, know about uh, these four tasks. So basically one, two, um, three and four tars and this fifth one is uh, the tar in which you can enter the game so we, we will get uh, to this one um, shortly let's just start with tar one uh, tar one is coming soon uh, there are a few things in this game which are coming soon uh, because it's it's a beta version of the game right now so that's tar one uh, this uh, tar two the star two is the uh, marketplace you can have a uh, you know screen over here you can watch what's there in the marketplace to for you to buy you can enter the marketplace you will be uh, brought to this menu and in this menu you can uh, choose between two tabs shop and currency currency where you can buy your bitcoins bitcoins the game currency in game currency you can buy it from your uh, money and then in the shop you can buy whatever there in the shop for you uh, with the help of your bitcoins you can buy the character you can buy the guns uh, i mean the weapon skins uh, the pod that you get deployed in then uh, melee weapons, more weapons, yeah. and then the stickers that are tagged basically. So basically, these are like the in game stickers that you can use. And that's about the marketplace. Let's just uh, get out of the star. There are these uh, two small interface places over, uh, over here. Let's enter that. So, this one is your locker. Once you uh, enter the locker, you will know that uh, whatever you acquire in this game uh, will be put up over here. The champions, this is, this is, this is the place where you can change your avatar. Yeah, I can, I can, I can choose I to be this guy or this guy or this girl or, you know. Basically, there are four male characters and four female characters right now. I'll hey, stay with this guy. Yeah. Mr. Burns. Okay. And since there are these more open slots, so I'm guessing that there will be more characters in future. Deployment pod. Uh, this is the stock deployment pod and the one that you saw in the market. Uh, you can buy that also. So basically, what it makes is uh, it makes you stand out a little in the game but apart from that it is making no other difference uh, so that's the stock deployment pod i will be in the game right now and uh, emotes you can choose your uh, post game emote in this menu yeah so these are the emotes all right and then uh, this is the emblem uh, so basically i'm not sure about this emblem i really guess uh, that uh, the stickers that you that that you can buy from the market will appear over here, and then you can uh, cho choose to you know put them uh, while you are in the game. Weapon designs, you can uh, buy some skins from the market. So we have seen one skin uh, of the Mammoth MK1 in the market, and this is the stock Mammoth MK1. You have skins for it in the market. So I'm not sure whether they they are just going to be the skins or they they are going to be some. Uh, Weapon upgrades also, I'm not sure, but this is the place uh, you will find everything once you have it on the market. So these are, these are your weapons. Then comes the melee weapons. Of course, you have empty slots. There are going to be more melee weapons in the future. Loading screen. You can actually choose your loading screen. That's unnecessary. But anyway, you have uh, an option of choosing your loading screen. So that's that's that. That's your locker. And then uh, this is the place where uh, you can, you know, choose uh, to play in squad or party only mode or, you know, I don't know, visible voice, I'm not sure what this is. But this is more like a lobby place, so where you can choose to uh, invite your friends and so on. So that's about this uh, small interface. Uh, let's go to the third tar. That's the ba battle pass. Basically, this is the place where you get to know where you stand in the game. So I've just uh, entered this game so i'm on tier one of course and as you progress in the game you uh, you will get to know which tier you stand on so this is two three four five six and uh, you know you can unlock uh, 
the achievements as you uh, grow apart from that you uh, have another tab over here it's called challenges so you can look up on your daily and weekly challenges on this tab so that's about this tab yeah then comes the last tab that's uh, news and updates so basically uh, games news and uh, updates will be uh, put up over here so you don't really um, have you know a mix of everything in one place uh, that usually happens in uh, games like PUBG, uh, COD Mobile, uh, and so on. So this is this is a good way to put up the menu. Is what I feel. So everything is nicely sorted and uh, doesn't really you know grab your attention uh, while you're doing something else, maybe more important. Yeah. So that's about uh, these four towers, and uh, the center tower is basically nothing but uh, a place where you enter the game. So you'll be brought to this menu and you will have these two options, squad and solo. The third one is coming soon. Uh, I'm not sure what this option is currently, you can't click on it. There are also two tabs over here, one is play and the second one is the stream. Uh, if you're streaming your game, you st you have more options uh, you know, to set up over here. You can So you can read it over here uh, on this one, set up extension, simply connect your uh, Twitch and Ubisoft account, then install the extension on your channel and start broadcasting, simple. And then on Wiki, uh, with the HyperScape Twitch extension, you can engage with your viewers when playing. They can vote for events, check your stats, and see you see your loadout. So uh, there are two options. This is this is good uh, because since this is going to be an F2P, um, streaming is uh, something that every player would want to do on this game. Uh, so that's that's a good way to do it. So uh, in the play uh, mode. I have uh, played a couple of uh, solo matches. Uh, I'd like to play a squad match also, but uh, let's just enter the solo match for now. Welcome to Solo Crime Rush. In this brutal competition, it's every contender for themselves. All right, so this is the place where you spawn for the first time, uh, be it a solo match or a squad match. I really like the way they present things over here in this game. That's your map. And that is where you will be deployed uh, once the game starts. Uh, we have sort of a good connection, so I'm expecting uh, to have fun in this one. I can send, press the center button on the mouse and uh, That's what we're you know, for. drop a ping uh, to places where I want to go. Deployment pods are ready to launch. Right, four seconds to the game. We are. So basically, you enter in a pod, uh, the pod that I was talking about in the menu. Yeah, and that's a map. Even while uh, you are in the pod while flying, you can stop your that's marker. Yeah. I see those fans so right let's over there. go to uh, GOG1. So the upper uh, upper right uh, corner of your screen shows you uh, how many players are there in the map and uh, how many players have you killed. So okay, what is this? All right. <laughs> okay, will I keep going up or what? Uh, okay, it will get me to over here. Okay, it's a good place to have a look over the map. All right, we have a few things over here. I get a pistol. Okay there. Ah, I can still get thrown up. All right. Okay, we have the zone uh, over here where we can find uh, weapons. So let's just jump over that place. Uh, one good thing about this game is uh, you don't die falling from heights. <laughs> yeah, so okay. are about to collapse. Bye bye. I will see you. Oh, <laughs> alright, there we are once again in the game. Again, I'm playing a solo mission, I uh, mean, solo uh, ground rush. This time, let's uh, get down at Limelight. Oh, 
we have a section here where you can find weapons and down. May have to give this a whirl. Now we're talking. Shots fired. Contender on the board. Got to keep my hands busy. This is all right. Reloading. Warning. Sectors will soon be collapsing. All right. Alright, we do have uh, two guns with us right now. Let's look for some players around. Okay. This is basically nostalgia. You, it feels so much like uh, Quake. Oh, we found someone. Okay, I have a sniper. Very nice. Watch out for collapsed sectors. Oh. How do you snipe in this game? Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so not made for this game. <laughs> Back on the map. This time, let's go to the center of the map. That's Tora Garden. This looks something that's coming right out of the movie Lucy. Yeah, remember movie Lucy? It's exactly like that, that supercomputer that she builds. <laughs> Alright. We have our first elimination. Okay, where will I find my weapons? Okay, oh, I found the boxes. Now we're talking. Got my first weapon. That's a shotgun. I can hear footsteps. Okay. Pressing the uh, spacebar twice basically gives you a mid-air boost on the jump. So basically you can jump twice. And then it climbs anything that comes in place. This game feels so much like, like quick. Mm. Come on, man. A bad shot. More Come at me. I you. All right. I took some damage. Whoa. <laughs> All right. All right. That was the Hyperscape Open Beta for you. Uh, do let me know down in the comments below. Uh, will you be playing this game? I'll be definitely playing this game. I loved it. This is absolute nostalgia for me. This feels so much like Quake and I used to love Quake back in the days. So I'll definitely be playing this game. So let me know if uh, I'll be seeing you guys in this game or not. Apart from that, uh, uh, 
I will be making a, a separate video on the weapons and the hacks uh, that you can get in this game. Uh, there is a training zone in this game, so I'll be uh, making a video on that. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Uh, if you've liked this video, uh, make sure that you like and comment and share this video with your friends and family. And uh, I shall see you very soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.